Hi everyone and welcome to this video on how to activate two-factor authentication for your Fasthost account. So to start, log into your account that you're trying to activate two-factor authentication for and that's why I'm here just on the dashboard and go to the my user section. Now before I actually go through the process I just want to point out something quite important. Um, before you set it up go to users and just make a note that if you've got any other users on your uh, Fastlist account, you're not setting up two-factor authentication for these. So although I'm setting up for the user I'm logged in as at the moment, these two users here will not have two-factor authentication set up, uh, obviously making it less secure. I'll come back to this bit later after I've been through the process and show you how to set it up for other users if you want to, but it's just worth noting before you actually go through the process. So from the My User tab here, we're going to click on two-factor authentication and click set up device this bit under here is just saying about finding a one-time password app um, so there's quite a few different apps that you can use for this um, i'm going to use google authenticator if you want to use a different one um, click on that it lists the ones you can use with fastos so set up device and then we've got here uh, set up two-factor authentication so what i need to do now is go on to my google uh, authenticator app on my phone and I'm going to just begin the process here. So we've got two ways of linking the account to my app here. I can either scan the barcode that you can see on the screen here or enter that code. And um, both will work the same way. I'm going to scan the barcode because it might be a little bit quicker. So what we do is just scan that. Okay, now that's scanned. So that's generated a code that you can see on the screen here. Now what I just need to do is enter that code onto the screen here. Finish setup, and we are done. So now what we need to do is just go log out, and I'll show you how to log in next time you log in. So now when I log into this account, it's going to ask me to enter my code. So let's go back onto the app. And as we can see here, uh, there's a six digit code that I need to enter and there's a timer that's uh, sort of going around there. So we've got to enter that code in before that timer gets to the end and then it's going to generate a new code. It's nice and secure. These codes don't last too long. You can also remember this browser as well if you don't want to have to do it every single time you log in, if you're fairly confident that no one else is going to be using your uh, the device you're logging in as. So that is it. I'm now into my account and that is how you activate two factor authentication for your account and then subsequently log in. Now, if you did want to use it, add it for other users, uh, you've got to make sure that the user you're logged in as has the user administrator privilege. Go to users and then the process is literally exactly the same manage user. However, Obviously, if you go through the process the same as I just did here, they're going to need to use your device every time they want to log into their account. So really, the best uh, best thing to do is make them set it up, the other users set it up using their own devices. Um, but it's just it's worth making it's worth noting that if uh, the other users don't set it up, then your account is obviously less secure because not every entry point to your account has two-factor authentication. And that is all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.